Tom, this is a troubling new reality in New Hampshire's drug epidemic, one that Manchester firefighters here are on the front lines of and in a city that's already seen two overdoses from this drug. It looks like fentanyl, but is more dangerous. It's used to tranquilize large animals like elephants. It can be deadly even just by touching it. And tonight, what's believed to be New England's first cases of carfentanil have been confirmed in the Granite State. One of our, our biggest fears uh, was when carfentanil would make its uh, appearance uh, in, in New Hampshire. State leaders issuing an urgent warning today right after laboratory tests showed the drug is linked to three deaths. Two 35-year-old Manchester men and a 48-year-old Meredith man died last month. Unfortunately, today is the first day that we've been able to confirm this. Uh, and worse yet, I think we all understand it's likely not the last day. A synthetic opioid, carfentanil, can be resistant to Narcan. It is 100 times more potent than fentanyl and 5,000 times more potent than heroin. It's a major risk to first responders and medical and lab staff because it could be absorbed through skin or accidentally inhaled. We're going to develop guidance so that emergency responders know how to approach a substance if they come across it uh, in the course of their work. It's not clear where the drug is coming from or how much is on the streets. Authorities say addicts may not even know they're taking it. We felt it was imperative to urge caution for those that may come in contact with this incredibly dangerous substance. Local, state and federal law enforcement are all working on the investigation side of this issue and anyone who may be exposed to carfentanil should get medical help immediately. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. By the way, carfentanil has been linked to deaths across the United States. 14 states, including New Hampshire, have had deadly overdoses due to the potent synthetic drug. No other New England states have yet to have any confirmed deaths linked to carfentanil.